Hello everyone and welcome back to Mad Trippin'. The summer is slowly coming to an end and today we are going to go see the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem. I have a bunch of kids with me inside right now playing video games. Today is Wednesday, August 2nd, 2023. It is 1.03 p.m. and 103 degrees outside. Whoo! Are you ready? Let's start trip. So we haven't had the big monsoon storms yet. We had a little bit of rain the other night that only lasted maybe five minutes. Um, the clouds are definitely building up, but the humidity is not pounding down on us. So this 103 degree temperature really isn't that bad. I know it's horrible if you don't live here and you don't want to be out working in it. So props to all the people who have to work out in this heat. I did it a couple years ago myself. I know where you are. It's, it's about that time of day where you quit for the day and go home and jump in that pool or take that cold shower. But today, since summer is coming to an end, most of the kids in my family have already started school or are starting school next week. We have another week or two of movies left. There's still a couple of movies I've missed. The big ones, Oppenheimer and uh, Barbie. I haven't got to see those two yet. I'm hearing great reviews on those two. Today is the opening day for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem. So we're going to get my review and see what the kids think. As I always like to do here before I go in and see the movie, I want to check out the movie posters. I did see some new ones. They're sparse and the summer blockbusters are pretty much already out now with the last two being uh, Barbie and Oppenheimer, and then today with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, the Haunted Mansion's already out. I haven't seen that one yet either, but that's next week, we'll go check it out. For right now, let's check out the new movie posters. So on the front of the building, it's Oppenheimer, which I'm hearing great reviews about. Indiana Jones, I loved it. Mission Impossible, I loved it. Elemental, I have not seen yet. Talk to Me, I have not seen yet. And the big one this August is Barbie. I have not seen that one yet. Over there is where we're gonna see a couple of the new posters. Over here on this side, it's the same ones, the Meg 2, Gran Turismo, and Bunker. Before we look at the other movie posters, you can see that for Wednesday, August 2nd, it's not that busy out here right now. Understandably so, being 103 degrees. But I took the kids out, put them inside that air-conditioned movie theater, and let them play games for half an hour. Oh, almost passed them up. Let's take a look here. So we have this beautiful Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles poster. I really like this poster right here. Isn't that pretty cool looking? I think that's a new poster. I don't think I've seen that one yet. I like the way they did that with the uh, skateboard there in the main part of the picture. Theater Camp. Here's a new one. Oh, we actually have two new movie posters. So you have Liam Neeson and Retribution. Always like Liam Neeson. That's going to be one of my lists to see. And then this looks pretty good. Napoleon with Joaquin Phoenix. So that's gonna be a must see on my list. All right, let's go to the front part of the main building here and look at the last of the movie posters. And as we do, we'll take a little walk down that way right there and see if we can see what kind of business it's getting. It doesn't look like it's getting much business at all here at one o'clock in the afternoon. So th that is a cool Ninja Turtles poster for sure. That's a great Oppenheimer poster too. Haunted Mansion, hopefully we get to see that next week. Sound of Freedom, then Mission Impossible, and Insidious. So now, we're going to go down to look and see what's going on down here. So from Elevate over to Osteria, I don't see any people around on the inside. There's a couple people, I guess. Oh, there's people inside the Exocy, so that's getting some business. Uh, the State 48 Rock House is doing okay. We've got a couple people inside, but not a lot. It's kind of a dead time of day, I think. And then, as always, there's always plenty of cars parked at the mall, so there's plenty of people doing some shopping. But yeah, my guess is... People are sitting out around the pool or kids are back in school already. I know I have a couple of nephews and nieces already back in school. And that's probably why these places aren't that busy. But it is hot out here. So it's time to go inside and get some of that wonderful movie theater air conditioning. Good, but you're moving, you're moving. Now, now all you gotta do is clamps, clamps. Oh, look, you almost got to the front. Me a little bit, now towards you a little bit. Give it a shot. Depends on how it lands. Get on the left. Oh, yeah, that's it. That is it right there. Don't drop. It's gonna drop at the top. Oh! <laughs> that might do it. It's up to you now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 
That's good. That's pretty good. No, just as long as it doesn't hit, clip on anything else, you got it. Oh, it's stuck in there. It didn't even move. Oh, I don't know. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty good as long as it rips it. Rip it. Good you, son of a... Oh, that's what I should have done. I should have went Mario, too. Then it would have had a wide enough grip. Oh. First try, Luigi. Oh, look, it won't let go. All right, Mad Troopers, it's time for the review. I had to come home and give the review for whatever reasons, but here we are. Now, all the kids gave this movie seven stars and above. I like to do one through five. I gave it a three. It was just average for me, but all the kids loved it, and they ranged from the age of nine to 20, <laughs> one of them not being a kid anymore. They all gave it a seven out of 10, 4.5 out of five. I didn't like it that much. The graphics were great. I like that kind of a new style there. Um, the storyline was the storyline was okay. There's too many flashing in the scenes. I was definitely sitting. The kids like to sit close to the screen. I was definitely sitting too close. It kind of made me sick, almost like that strobe effect. If you get it too much, and there was too much flashing going on. Not with that strobe effect necessarily with the lights, just with the animation itself uh, going back and forth uh, as the characters are moving and stuff. Like kind of reminded me of like watching a 60 frame per second on a 30 frame TV. You kind of get those little glitches or trying to watch an old TV show on a 75 inch TV. Right? They just look kind of blurry around them and stuff like that but it is a kids movie and the kids absolutely loved it i actually liked all the uh, voice actors for the ninja turtles and uh, jackie chan as splinter and ice cube as the main villain all the voice acting was great the storyline was just okay it's only like an hour and 34 minutes long and we've heard the story before so i think they should have maybe done something a little bit different with it they did set up the ending pretty nice uh, you do have to wait until uh after the end scene, going through the credits, there is going to be another special scene there for you to watch. Make sure you don't miss that. But all in all, just an average movie for me. It made it a little bit better since the kids loved it, and it was a nice way to end their summer. My summer's still going. So we're going to try to squeeze in a couple more movies before the summer officially ends. I like to say the summer ends in September, so it runs from June 1st all the way to August 31st. Well, that'll do it, Mad Troopers. Thanks for watching. You are so greatly appreciated. Have a great rest of your day and a better tomorrow. Please click that subscribe button, trip over that like button, and remember... Never stop tripping.